Hello and thank you so much for clicking in. Today I'm going to be making some albacore tuna croquettes also known as tuna patties. And the word of the day is, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. That's Psalms 94 verse 19. New International Version. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching my last video, Seafood Ramen Quickie. And a special thank you to Leo MJM because he left me the most awesome comment saying, don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. And I want to thank you so much, Leo MJM, for that. My ingredients, this one is panko, gram, panko breadcrumbs mixed with some regular breadcrumbs. And this is going to be for the coating. Then eggs, these are breadcrumbs. This is going to be for, to put inside of the mixture to help bind the mixture. And then I have chopped red onions, chopped serrano peppers, chopped cilantro, Did I say albacore tuna? Juice from half of a lemon. Three eggs for the mixture and three eggs for the coating. I'm going to be dipping, the, dipping it into beaten eggs for the coating and then dipping it into the um, breadcrumbs. Then I have some parsley flakes. Then I have lemon pepper. Antoni, saccharoni, because it costs less money and it's still delicious. And we're gonna be having some, or using some chopped cilantro. Those are all the ingredients. I'll be right back. Oops, I forgot to show you guys the chopped up garlic, five cloves of chopped garlic, and the chopped red bell pepper. Also, I changed my mind about the lemon pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some black pepper instead. So, and also, I'm going to be sauteing these bell peppers and the red onions and I, you know, I'm just going to saute those just in case. Be right back. Okay, I think I forgot to show you guys the Dijon mustard. I'm going to be using a little bit of that too. And just going to saute these peppers and onions for a hot second. Just in case. I don't want them to be too crunchy in the, um, you know, in the in the fish patties. So I'm just going to saute these for a couple minutes. Okay, so first I'm going to be separating the tuna from itself so that it's not too chunky. Then I'm going to start to incorporate the ingredients. And about maybe seven of you have gone over to the community tab and made a vote. So far, the sticky licky ribs are in the lead and I was really surprised about that I thought that the ramen was going to win but so far no and I'd like to thank 
Shirley from Shirley's Real Life for being the first one over there to the community tab. Thank you so much. Then I'm going to add some pepper. Did I say I changed my mind about the lemon pepper? I am going to be putting some lemon juice and the lemon pepper has salt in it. And since the Tony Saccharonis has salt, I decided that I better steer clear of that because I didn't want to have too much salt. regular seasoning salt I just found out has MSG in it and I always try to steer clear of that most especially since if I um, you know if I really like these I never made these before so if I really like them I want to send one over to my brother and his wife my sister-in-law who is allergic to um, MSG so I certainly don't want to have any of that in here just in case I send them some, you know, if it tastes really good and everything. And I only need a little bit of this um, <clears throat> Dijon mustard. So little, I wonder, do I really need it? But, <coughs> excuse me, the, <coughs> the recipe, I think that pepper is getting into my throat. <coughs> excuse me, please, the recipe calls for it. So let's go with that. Let's go with the the peppers and the onions. Yay! Sauteed. <sighs> nice and hot. Chopped cilantro. Mmm. At first I wasn't going to use all the cilantro and then I double checked the recipe and um, it said a small bunch and I had a small bunch so I went ahead and Put the rest of that in there the garlic i'm gonna link the recipe that i used uh loosely i'll say i loosely use the recipe because i have changed it um i try to steer clear of tomatoes and so i didn't want to put any tomatoes in there so you know i changed the recipe up just a tad I can't remember if I put parsley in there or not, so I'm going to put a shake a little bit in there because I think I did. Then, that was the breadcrumbs. And then, uh, the lemon, the juice of one half of a lemon. Wait, am I using this right? Yeah. <laughs> I got this from the, um, where did I get this? I forgot, I think I got, yeah, I got it from the 99 cent store, no, the Dollar Tree store. But something, I'm not getting all the juice out of it and I feel like if I squeeze it too tight it's gonna snap in half <laughs> be right back
I guess that little, ooh, that little contraption did a pretty good job. That's all I got out of there afterwards. Okay, so then I've got everything except the beaten eggs, three beaten eggs. Put that in there. And uh, then, once I get this all mixed up really, really good, I'll be ready to make my, my fish patties, my albacore tuna fish patties. And uh, then, I'm gonna be frying them up. Does that look good? I think so. What say you? I'll be back. I'm going to mix this up a little more and then I'm going to beat up the eggs for the coating. Okay, my lucky star. So now I'm going to be forming the albacore tuna patties. I'm going to dip them into this Dip them into the egg wash and then into the, um, the other stuff. For, sure, for some reason, my brain goes blank whenever I'm making videos, you know? Try to make them pretty much the same size so that they can cook evenly and at the same time, you know. All right, so I ended up with 10 fish patties, five and five. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and eat. These are pretty nice sized patties too, not, not stingy at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry these right now. All right, I think it's time to turn. Ooh! Remember when I told you one side of my fire is hotter than the other side? This is a perfect example. You see how dark those are? And how light these are? These went in first. You got all your stuff turned off? 
and this is the finished product so I'm gonna go ahead and give it the taste test first I'm gonna let you see how it looks inside albacore tuna fish patties 